Sunny Hostin tried to pay tribute to Raquel Welch on The View, but she ended up doing exactly the opposite. Here's what went down to make the audience turn on her. Some people are destined for greatness, earning fame from the moment they set foot in the entertainment industry. Raquel Welch was one of those people. The late actress and model catapulted to fame after starring in the 1966 film Fantastic Voyage, which laid her talent bare for all the world to see. In One Million Years BC, Welch rocked a makeshift bikini that quickly had her labeled as a sex symbol in the industry. From that moment forward, Welch was a star and enjoyed many of the privileges afforded by it, earning a Golden Globe and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Even as Welch got older, her beauty continued to remain a constant. Sadly, on February 15th, TMZ reported that Welch had tragically died at the age of 82. The actor's representative shared that she had died peacefully after a brief illness. Fans of the late actress, including many famous ones, shared touching tributes to honor Welch's impact on the industry. She was one of the biggest sex symbols of the 60s and beyond, with an incredible repertoire of acting credits to boot. When the ladies of The View began discussing Welch's legacy, co-host Sonny Hostin compared the legendary actor to Kim Kardashian, and the audience wasn't happy about it. They don't make any sex symbols like that. I don't know any. Uh, well, Kim Kardashian present. is good. No. no. Kardashian? No. no. <laughs> this isn't the first time Kardashian has been compared to an iconic Hollywood sex symbol, as many have compared the reality star to Marilyn Monroe and now Welch. Still, many disagreed, including fellow co host Whoopi Goldberg. That's not even, you can't even put them in the same. I'm not even, look, I'm going, I'm moving on. Before forging ahead, Anna Navarro chimed in to divert attention away from Kardashian and instead focus her frustration on the media, who hardly mentioned that Welch was a Latina woman. She was a Latina trailblazing yeah. actress from Bolivia. Bolivia. Hostin wasn't the first person to compare Welch to Kardashian, however. Raquel Welch herself actually shared an outfit comparison with herself alongside Kim Kardashian in one of her past social media posts. In the 2015 post, Welch was rocking her famous look from the film One Million Years BC in the throwback photo, while Kim was seen in a fur swimsuit on the beach. Welch wrote, My fur bikini is making a comeback in Kim Kardashian. Who wore it best? Get your vote in. And that's not the only link between Welch and the Kardashians. In a post from 2016, Welch addressed the news that Kim's sister, Khloe Kardashian, had bought an image of her that was shot by Terry O'Neill. Khloe shared on her site at the time that the photo, quote, was shot in 1966 to symbolize how Welch was crucified by the entertainment industry for her sexuality. On social media, Welch wrote in response, It's nice to know that after all these years, that the ironies of being a sex symbol still resonate with a new generation of young women. Despite these challenges, Raquel Welch climbed the Hollywood ladder while having pride in who she was. The actor was a single mother, who put in a great deal of effort to kickstart her career as a performer. She went on to gain success through parts in movies like Fantastic Voyage, One Million Years BC, and Myra Breckenridge. Welch's liberated stance on being a woman and a sex symbol in the industry was part of her appeal. Welch wrote in her memoir, Beyond the Cleavage, I've noticed a tendency in my gender to underestimate the value of being a member of the female sex. I fought that tendency in myself, and have come to adopt a more positive and empowering attitude toward the art of being a woman. Additionally, Welch stayed true to her background and kept her birth name, rather than going by a stage name like Debbie. The famed actor went on to say, They wanted to change it, and I was not happy at all. I did really feel like Raquel. The essence of who I am is a Latina.